My name is David Wolfenden. I'm a British Sign Language English interpreter and have been for over 30 years. There isn't really a typical day as a sign language interpreter. Um, you could be interpreting for a job interview in the morning where a deaf person might be on the interview panel um, and hearing candidates are applying for a job working uh, with their team. You could be interpreting for a, um, a doctor's appointment later on that day where a young deaf mother is worried about her child um, uh, who seems to be not eating, um, hasn't been eating well for the past couple of days. Oh, and then um, in, the, um, in the afternoon you might be interpreting for a lecture uh, by a deaf um, professor on the history of sign language, for example. Um, but there is no typical day as a sign language interpreter wherever deaf people meet the system, meet other people. Um, that's where you're, where you're employed, uh, you're engaged. My favourite part of the job is when because of interpreting, um, because of that service I provide, deaf people are seen for their talent and ability. Um, employers can access their deaf employees and recognise that they deserve a promotion, for example, or a pay rise. and, and that is uh, that's a good thing it's good when because of the service I provide that deaf people are seen as fellow citizens and just as much uh, having just as much potential as anyone else back when I was a lot younger I learned sign language at an evening class I took to it and thought I like this language. This is um, this is a lot of fun, um, and I applied to lots of places in in those days um, in the Yellow Pages. Uh, where um, if you don't know what the Yellow Pages are, you, you have to look it up on online. But um, anywhere in the Yellow Pages with the word "deaf" in, in the title, I applied, and I got a job then as a community worker with deaf people. And they were very good. They, they sent me off on lots more training courses. But the biggest um, the biggest influence really was the deaf community themselves. Deaf, deaf people saying, I ought to become an interpreter because I could do it. I could do the sign language. And it was the sign language really that, that um, inspired me to do it as a profession, to, do, uh, to become a linguist. Um, and it is, it is a great job. In those days when I first became an interpreter, there weren't much in the way of qualifications. Um, I went on a, a two week professional interpreter development course and um, having achieved fluency in sign language began to interpret but uh, then pretty soon perhaps in the year 2000 we began to see university level training for interpreters postgraduate diploma in BSL English interpreting which I went on to uh, to study and that now is pretty much the entry level to become a professional interpreter um, the equivalent would be the um, MVQ route, um, MVQ level six being the minimum standard for sign language English interpreting. You need some good English, you need some good sign language. So um, 
that that's what uh, I certainly needed to uh, achieve. I've interpreted for princesses and prime ministers. So I've interpreted for some significant hearing people, but one of the most memorable deaf people that I interpreted for was a three deaf girls who had to face a challenge in their, um, they were doing a project where they won some funding to face a fear and they all were terrified of water and I was engaged to interpret for them on their paddy open water scuba diving course just off the island of Cozumel in the Mexican Gulf. It was a terrific time and they were terrified but eventually we all knelt down on the seabed and had a conversation with one another in sign language with turtles and eagle rays and fish I've only ever seen on telly. And it was one of the most beautiful chats I've ever had. Sign language interpreting is a terrific job. Uh, it's a real privilege to be present at significant moments in deaf people's lives, sometimes some very sensitive moments and, and very difficult moments and joyous moments and it's important that as a sign language interpreter you do you do things well so do your training get the professional qualification get professional supervision um, ensure that you're doing things respectfully and in the best possible way you can and um, and you'll have a long career <laughs>